Take a look at this picture of Patty and Joe Martinez. Do you see anything wrong? Maybe if I circle it for you, it will help. This hideous creature over his shoulder looks like a dog at first, but its nose is too flat and pushed in, and the top row of human teeth form a snickering sneer. The yellow eyes are open as wide as possible, and there's a tiny pupil at the very bottom, meaning it is looking down at you. Photo experts have verified this picture is real, which is absolutely terrifying. After all, there's no reason for anything that scary to be anywhere near a wedding anniversary, especially behind you. Is there a ghost in this office? YouTuber George Ann Hampton thinks there is. While one worker was at the office late at night, something strange happened. Watch the bottom right corner. Did something unseen just open that drawer? Or are the mechanics of the dresser off kilter? If this is a one-off event, I tend to think it is probably just a malfunctioning dresser. If there's more to the story and more video evidence, I might change my mind though. Either way, it never hurts to burn some sage. A viral TikTok video has millions wondering what kind of paranormal activity is going on at Holly Armstrong 20's haunted house. I guess she must have heard weird noises from her closet or something because this scary moment caught on camera is terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my f The creepy doll moves all by itself, first clicking its tiny heels together and then lifting one shoe in the air. It looks like a weird paranormal moment, but I think I have this bizarre video figured out. Okay, pretend this red line is a string. They could have tied it to the doll's feet and then stretched it across the open door so that somebody could make it look like the doll's moving from off camera. So while this TikTok video looks like it's beyond creepy, I don't think it's necessarily paranormal. Or at least I really hope not. Amanda and her friends want to see if random nodding is really a thing, and so they do something clever that I haven't seen in any other Randonautica videos. They write down what they want to see and never say it out loud just in case the app is listening in. They concentrate on finding a rainbow because they think that this object would be the last thing to be able to creep them out. They were wrong. Randonautica helps them find this unforgettable experience that has them screaming in their car. <laughs> it's a multicolored rainbow fence, followed by a real one not too long after. That can't just be a coincidence, right? A YouTuber named The Maniac sets out with his cousin to explore the back roads of Maine. Within five minutes, a vehicle pulls up and somebody gets out while pointing at the ground. doesn't identify himself and he certainly isn't a police officer, so I think the maniac was in the right to try and get away. I will admit that they were going pretty fast earlier, so maybe that's why this person was so upset. Anyway, approximately two minutes later, they see him again but he is already turning with a car behind him and unable to swing back around. This time, the maniac speeds by him for a final look and sure enough, the man is wearing the same grey shirt and watch as before. The maniac speeds off again before the man has a chance to get out of his car and try and make another attempt to stop him. Some friends practice soccer and talk about life when they cross paths with something that will change all of theirs forever. Caught on camera is what they claim to be a strange goblin creature clamoring across the kitchen floor. Only one of them looks directly at it and he drops to the ground and covers his eyes like they burn. 
the creature, which barely comes up to waist level, runs out from behind this area behind the refrigerator. They lose sight of the goblin in a dark room, and the encounter is over, at least for now. YouTuber Dark Life says this was the worst EHF find he's ever discovered in an abandoned house. Dennis explains that he didn't bring his tent, so he won't be spending the night. Ладно, пойду я дальше, не буду терять время. Сегодня я без палатки, поэтому ночевать я здесь не буду оставаться. Later inside, a spirit confirms that she is there. Здесь кто-нибудь есть из мира мертвых? The spirit says that she remembers her relatives. Помнишь что-нибудь из жизни? Ты что-нибудь помнишь из жизни? As Dennis is standing in the dark, he accidentally steps on a hornet's nest. Опа. Я попал. He leaves a camera down there instead, so as not to be stung, but something spins his camera around. I don't know what did that, but it was not a hornet. What happens when a flight goes haywire mid-air? Passengers of JetBlue Flight 292 found out firsthand on their flights from California to New York a flight that ended in flames, smoke, and sparks. After the flight took off from Burbank's Bob Hope Airport, an indicator light came on noting that there was an issue with the landing gear. The front tires of the airplane had swiveled sideways and were frozen there, as the retraction gear hadn't fully retracted. With 146 passengers on board, the airliner swung laps in the California sky for three hours to burn off fuel so that their emergency landing wouldn't be so fiery. They were told to land at LAX, as it was supplied with more emergency equipment and a longer runway on which to land. The pilot would land it using primarily the back wheels of the airliner. All the while, people were watching this scary event live at home on TV. Passengers were watching it on their tiny TV monitors on the back side of each seat. Loads of emergency equipment sat ready on the runway, while more than 100 firefighters awaited the landing. Time stood still, with thousands stopping on highways and watching from nearby buildings. As the jetliner made its final approach, passengers were told to get in the brace position. As they prepared for landing, needless to say, many feared for their lives in this moment. But the pilot managed to land softly on the runway, on the plane's back wheels. It was the smoothest landing I ever had, one passenger said. As its front end touched down, friction sent up plenty of sparks and blaze. But the fire subdued quickly. The passengers, and everyone watching, were relieved that this scary, intense event didn't end up much worse. Applause broke out on board for the pilots and crew. The pilot's cool-headed grid has since been praised the world over, as it should be. This one's a real head-scratcher. This redditor shared this video of a USB cable with a life of its own. Let's take a look. Let's see it again, slower this time. The cord is still for about 20 seconds and then becomes active again. If you zoom in on the cable, it does look like there's something attached to it about two inches below the head.
but you can't see the string, so I'm hesitant to say that's not just a reflection of light on the cord at certain angles. I can't offer a resounding verdict on this one. What do you think it is? A team of ghost investigators patrol through a dark farmhouse at 3 a.m. and set up their equipment. Suddenly, their thoughts are interrupted by an overwhelmingly powerful force. An adjacent door flies open soon as they shine their flashlight up into the attic. The team feels like they are being watched from something outside. They're talking about what to do next when they witness another display of brute force. We get to experience an EVP session in the creepy abandoned house. And Something smashes the window out and they see what appears to be a white apparition slowly walking away. The object has no distinct shape and somehow seems to be both near and far at the same time. What the f was that? <gasps> Holy sh There's somebody out there! All of them scramble to the car and take one last look as they leave. It's really hard to see, but zoom in on the window and you'll see a head move away on the left side. Let me know if you see what I mean or not. There's a famous pub in Sydney, Australia called the Carlisle Castle Hotel. For years, this local watering hole has been haunted by the ghost of Old Pete, a bitter ex-employee who left the earth quite some time ago, but not his job. His ghostly antics have been caught on camera no less than three times. The first time Pete was caught on tape, he was helping a customer. The unsuspecting man opens the door to the cooler when Pete decides to grab two bottles of red wine for himself. His ghost grip must have not been too tight though because both bottles go crashing to the floor. Looking at the footage, there's no way that the shelf gave out or anything like that. The bottles were thrown to the ground with deliberate force with no one nearby. Another incident occurred when the bar was full of witnesses. Everyone is happily enjoying themselves when a hanging red wine glass suddenly dislodges itself and smashes into the counter. Glass shards fly everywhere and the entire bar takes notice. Although this could have simply been a freak accident, what are the chances that, of all the red wine glasses, the one that's directly underneath the server happens to be the one to fall and break? The timing is almost too perfect to be a coincidence. Old Pete strikes again. The third and final tape reveals a glimpse of Old Pete himself. The bar is empty this time when the angry ghost suddenly materializes in front of the security camera. If you look closely, you can make out Old Pete's head at the bottom of the screen. He appears to be waving. Many other bartenders and customers all claim to have seen Old Pete for themselves in one way or another. It isn't uncommon for tapes to turn on by themselves, and the bartenders have seen what they can only describe as strange things while counting down their registers after close. To make this all even stranger, all of the bottles that go crashing to the floor are always high-end red wines. This just so happened to be Old Pete's favorite drink, at least when he was still with the living. Sometimes you come across video footage on YouTube that just gives you a strange, unsettling feeling in the pit of your stomach, despite appearing relatively harmless. This clip is one of those types. Abner H7 posted the video titled Movo10 to Reddit. The clip begins with an emergency warning sound and reads, Please hold, playback will begin. A dark screen appears to show the woods at night. The phrase hollow was alive flashes scratchily on the screen for a moment, leaving viewers to wonder what that hollow lie is. The walk through the dark forest starts to morph into an unsettling funhouse mirror. The leaves on the ground sway and distort. Another phrase flashes across the screen reading, They are making it real. Who are they? What is being made real? We are left to guess. Continued shots of the leaves, branches, and grass in the darkness are replaced, suddenly by a shot of the moon. Then one more message appears, Help us. The clip then ends with another high-pitched sound, an official message indicating the playback is complete. What does this creepy clip mean? And why is this YouTube channel full of them? If you knowingly lived in a haunted house, would you stay? Donnie Drunkard did. Published to YouTube in December of 2020, this paranormal activity will run you out of Donnie Drunkard's home. Donnie writes, After trying to recover footage that I thought was lost, I found these clips from last year documenting the earliest days of paranormal and poltergeist activity manifesting in my haunted house. The footage first shows Donnie playing with his dog Terry, but later that night Donnie notes that the atmosphere changed and that they heard voices and sounds coming from upstairs.
terrifying clinking and clanking bursts through the darkness. Terry is growling as Donnie grabs for his Bible and starts to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, how it be thy name. As Terry tries to escape under a table for comfort. Terry, come here. Terry. Come on. Come on, Terry. We gotta go. Donnie gathers him up to flee this mayhem for a time as they head out for a drive in the background. An overhead light is swinging back and forth while they are away. A closet door near where the sound originated opens slowly. Nothing exits. YouTuber Brenda Luke writes, That hallway, it's not just darkness, it's advanced darkness. I'd be leaving that haunted house immediately. There's only one thing scarier than a ghost sighting. A ghost sighting you. That's what Garments One claimed to have caught on video in a churchyard in Estol United Kingdom. The footage opens on a shot of a church. After panning down, the distinct figure of a girl peering around the corner of the building comes into view. She quickly darts back and out of sight, and when pursued has disappeared into thin air. The shot pans back to the corner, up the building and around, but the ghost girl is nowhere in sight. Whether you're a believer in the paranormal or a skeptic, this video will make you look twice. YouTuber Adam Mark explores this abandoned mansion. The owner passed away, leaving everything behind. After a while, the place became frozen in time. It's a little spiraling staircase. You can see the decay on the walls, all the paint peel. Carpet's quite trodden in. Bit grimy. See all the marks up the walls, which lets me think it has been abandoned a while. The cupboards are full of items that no one will ever read. But everything is just completely full. Everything's left behind in this one. Old video camera there, look. <laughs> Very strange. Adam breaks out the K2 and gets some readings in certain parts of the house. All right, so we're getting little bits. There we go, there we go. There's something down here. Look at this. Oh my God. Guys. Look at this. Using another paranormal device, Adam is directly warned by the spirit. Are you the spirit that passed away here? Listen to that exactly where I thought it would go, by the guitar. And then he sees something unexplainable. Did you just show your hand around that wall? Guys, this is so weird. I uh, one million percent have just seen it. It was like a hand reaching around that wall there. Are Adam's eyes playing tricks on him? I don't think so. This one looks like a real gut punch of fear. Hey, <sighs> Considering this, along with all of the spirit communications, I feel that the residents are here after all. A YouTuber named Tai Jiang Ko is sifting through a deep web box when she comes across what appears to be some sort of surgical instrument with strange markings, though I don't know what they could mean, if anything at all. B4 or something? Yeah, it says B4 on it. Then there's also marker right here. I also don't know what they were used for, only that they leave a greenish stain on Tai Jai's gloves, which I hope is nothing toxic. She changes gloves and moves on to the next object, an ice pick covered in red at the tip. I'm hoping that it's just rust and not what I think it is. Let me know what you think. My only question besides what this could be is who put it in the box and why? More proof that ignorance is bliss. If you knew what monsters lurked below, would you ever put your boat out? Simon Lawrence published this drone footage of a great white having a go at a 7 meter crab boat near Port Lincoln, South Australia in October of 2017. You can see the enormous shark drift carelessly beneath the boat. At first, the shark appears to have no interest in his two-legged friends or their curious contraption, but then the shark does a 180 and returns. 
appearing to nudge the rear of the boat. In the video description, Lawrence notes what happened. The shark surfaced after we pulled the pot off him. While he was swimming off with it, we didn't drag the shark nor did it drag us. It did, however, put its nose against the motor and started to push us around. It then put its mouth over the echo sounder transducer. You can see the shark surface a couple times, which is quite scary in and of itself. Just as the face above the water is a little too Jaws-esque for the faint of heart, you can also see the shark move against the motor, although it doesn't seem to have caused any damage. After a while, the shark bugs off and takes a rope with it. Another scary encounter with our big tooth friends from down under. With a Ouija board in hand, a YouTuber named Contagious Noise takes her girlfriend and her sister to an old barn that's just beyond city limits. They are positive that this barn is very haunted and therefore the perfect place to contact the other side. The group laughs and carries on playfully at first, but it isn't long before the situation grows alarmingly serious. Tell me if it really looks like the pointer is moving all by itself here. I'm my grandma, I'm not doing it. Garrett? I swear on everything. I'm not. Look at my fingers. Are. Soon they contact the spirit of a four-year-old who could possibly be named Ryan. They are trying to ask him more questions when out of nowhere it spells out the name Grace, which is the name of one of the girls. The spirit doesn't seem to want to give any real answers. Sometimes the Ouija board simply spells letters at random. Just when they get the feeling that a spirit is messing with them, a random noise confirms their suspicions. Or ask who the four-year-old was. Why they're here? Yeah. Each one of them promises that they are not playing a joke and they decide to try again. This time the Ouija board spells out a single word. Help. Uh, Say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> a group of friends are hanging out, basically making a random video to pass the time until their power comes back on. They nervously joke about a number of different scary things that could happen to them while huddled together in the dark when a creepy moment actually does occur. You are an idiot! This is every time, ladies and gentlemen. You are. Oh. What? What? I just saw something outside. We're not that stupid. No, seriously, guys, I saw something outside. No one believes him when he tries to explain that they were being watched in the window by something bizarre outside, but I certainly saw it and if you didn't, trust me, soon you will. He's creeped out and zooms into the area where he last saw it run off to. That's when he catches a glimpse of the mysterious figure again. Did you hear that? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, okay, I'm scared guys. A strange humanoid creature is crawling on the wall on all floors. They lose sight of it, but that's because it's only seen when it wants to be seen. Soon, its frightening face fills the window, glowing white eyes and all. In an instant, it's gone again until they see movement in the bushes. What is that? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. When you look at it up close, you can tell it's definitely wearing clothes, maybe a collared shirt underneath a hoodie. So this is probably a skit in just one of their friends. Still, the glowing eyes and lack of a face are freaky. I hope they are special effects and not a humanoid on the prowl. All of them rush outside for a confrontation. One of them brings their arm down while holding something heavy, and with a sickening crunch, it's all over. You the flashlight! Ah. It's late at night when a group of friends hear a woman screaming for help and decide to investigate inside the house. They enter and look around trying to figure out where the woman is. Soon the cameraman realizes their female friend is no longer with them, and as they head upstairs they see her getting dragged into a room. They try to go back downstairs but there is someone blocking their path who appears to be possessed with a group trapped inside the house. They are eventually each picked off by whatever was in that house. According to the footage, the group was never seen again. 
and though their reactions seem quite realistic, I've been unable to find more information on the incident, so therefore I cannot decide whether this is real or a skit. This PlayStation 4 keeps restarting all by itself and makes a creepy noise at the end of the video that it didn't make at all before. I know a lot of you already know what a PS4 turning on sounds like. I just thought it was weird because mine has never made that noise, but maybe yours has. I see this is a special edition console, so maybe that's why. A man is cooking in his kitchen when a black mist appears behind him. Look for it on the left side of your screen. The man has his back turned and does not seem to notice what's going on behind him. What's especially strange is how the black mist starts to back away from the door when the man heads into the other room. Once the homeowner is safely out of view, the mist turns very dark and quickly darts in front of the doorway. No clear explanation has ever been provided, though I'd like to hear yours. Whatever the thing is, it's never been recorded again since. In this scary video, Exploring with Josh explores the historic RRS Discovery, one of the most haunted ships in Britain. The team invites the spirits to speak, and they do in their own way. You can talk to us here now. Oh, that is creepy. I just swear to God, there's someone walking around in there, just like a shadow. Bro, bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most No, put the light on it. Well, that is the most there's something room. inside there, I'm telling you now. Oh my God. What? It. Yeah, I saw a shadow playing there. I believe you. Bro. They continue to communicate with this spirit. Give that device. Could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? Oh my oh. god! You oh my god! That's f oh crazy. my god! You can't f that up. When they go and collect a recording device from that room, they hear the spirit's response to some of their questions. Yes, it is the crew. Yes, it is. Hang on. It is the crew. You can't your ass. As the presence intensifies, they hear footsteps. And you got it? And now, yeah. And that was after I heard the bed moving, bro. I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room with me. Right, we're going back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're all stuck together? Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run that went through there. Was that the captain again? With all of this paranormal evidence, I have to believe that the RRS Discovery still carries an immortal brew, but they are probably as cold as Antarctica. This video, published by Adam in 2007, shows what the owner's dog has been barking at for several weeks. In the dark video, you can see the dog approach the outer door which leads into the kitchen. He seems like he's been alerted by something. He walks right up to the door. Then something eerie happens. The door blinds open rapidly then close just as rapidly. The dog waits there and there's a tapping noise heard on the film as light appears from the outside. When the blinds open again, then they rapidly shut. The dog whines for a minute, and the blinds roll up a bit, and then a bit more, and then even more than that. The dog just sits guard at the door as the blinds roll up slowly. For the rest of the clip, the loyal and very concerned dog just sits there at the door, aware of the paranormal happenings, but not sure what to do about them. None of us are Rex. This event is unexplainable in my opinion, but let me know if you have a different guess. A mysterious and creepy video of a seemingly haunted stuffed toy moving on its own has this woman so freaked out that she's probably going to cry.
The woman is busy looking at her phone when the object moves towards her multiple times, stopping every time she glances up. Each time, its movements are so slight that she's not even sure if the object is really moving or not. At 3 minutes and 19 seconds, she grabs the stuffed toy and brings it near. But less than a minute later, the possessed toy flings itself across the bench and she runs away screaming. I want to say that this video is fake, but you can see the entire room. So if it was someone holding a string, I'm not sure where they would be standing. This may surprise you, but there are certain tribes around the Amazon rainforest that have never had contact with the modern outside world. These shots from above paint a picture of these uncontacted tribes being hostile towards seeing helicopters and drones in the air. So encounters with them are quite rare, since it's best not to interfere with these tribes. So this new drone footage was jaw-dropping when they actually manage to capture this uncontacted tribe on video. If you look closely, you can see there's 16 people quietly walking through the rainforest here. I think it's best if they don't try to get any closer. They certainly don't want a repeat of what happened before. It's creepy to think there's people on this earth who have never seen the modern world, but I agree these groups should remain uncontacted and self-sufficient. A life ceremony in France starts out normal enough until 7 minutes and 11 seconds when an object moves on its own like a ghost is about to throw it. The object levitates until the clergyman puts his hands down, at which point it stops. This happened on live TV in front of thousands, so someone tell me how it could be fake. Stranger still, a man in the audience claims to have seen a supernatural apparition in the dark doorway, a ghostly figure with a white face and hair who watches the ceremony from afar. The full version of this video has never been put online, to my knowledge, but this picture apparently shows the figure. I think there is a good chance that it is Photoshop, but it looks creepy and is worth mentioning. So if anyone out there is good with Photoshop, then let me know if this is a real picture, or if this scary face was edited. A phantom drifts past, never to be seen or heard from again. Published by Tammy Jackson in December of 2019, this ring camera footage captured something incredibly eerie in this person's yard. The footage shows a pale, full-bodied figure drifting across the yard. No features are discernible. It then appears to vanish. That's when the motion-activated lights on the garage are triggered. They shine brightly, casting light all across across the yard, but there's nothing there. A house light also appears to be triggered, but still nothing else appears in the yard. Do ghosts trigger motion sensors? If not a ghost, who is this? I guess we'll never know for sure. This video resolution, which is fairly good quality, or at least better than most, catches a statue moving its eyes. From 8 seconds to 12 seconds, the statue has heavy eyelids that are almost shut. The person recording stops for a second to adjust the lighting, and that's when the statue apparently opens its eyes. Well, this would be bizarre to witness in person. I think this moving statue is a simple camera trick using angles and lighting. In the beginning, they record the statue at an upward angle with low lighting to make the eyes look more closed, but then they record at a downward angle with more lighting to increase the level of detail and make the eyes look more open. It's an interesting trick, but I doubt it's real. Or at least, that's what I think. Do you think it's real? A scary 3am video's got a YouTuber named Logical Leprechaun scratching his head in disbelief along with both of his parents too. The thing runs for like another minute and he never comes back. He never does anything else. Wherever this, this never rings again. He's like wearing a dress or something. Again. The mysterious figure sets off the ring doorbell camera alert one time and never again despite passing back and forth numerous times. It's the 4th of July so somebody could have been walking around outside, but there's no reason for them to be this out of focus and definitely no reason to appear out of nowhere. It's just it's it's like dark a, there like and then boom. Out of nowhere. Logical Leprechaun says that nothing has appeared so blurry before or after this mysterious figure was caught on camera. It's no different than other doorbell cameras and works fine, other than this mysterious 
midnight. I think it could be paranormal unless there is some technical explanation that someone could help me better understand. Nothing like an old village to cruise for some ghosts. Published in September of 2015, this footage purportedly shows a ghost near some old village homes. It's unclear where this video was shot, so it could be any old village anywhere in the world. Let's explore it. The clip takes in the surrounding area of these homes. Nothing appears out of place, although the homes seem to be abandoned. The camera follows some birds on a roof before panning down to capture some ants on the ground. The shot pulls up from the grass and mud and pans around the area. That's when you see it. Too quick to make out any details, an apparition in all black appears on screen for a brief moment, standing off in the distance on some pavement. The figure is still as the shot moves around. What is this? Do you think it's a ghost too? That's at least what the uploader claims. Many have debated whether it is or not, and with no other footage, it will most likely remain a mystery for the foreseeable future. Did this YouTuber capture skinwalkers in a screaming match? While wandering through Gila National Forest, mysterious wailing echoed all around him. As the cameraman stood waiting, he heard the screams again. They were so terrifying, they spun him around. And again. But where is it coming from? And to whom does this wailing belong? Skinwalkers? Or something else entirely? I think I'm going to stay far away from that forest. A scary video recovered from WhatsApp begins with an evil laugh and ends with a scream. Wait, what's any? I'm not sure what they've caught on camera. Some kind of twisted half torso with a demented laugh, it would seem. The strange form leaves the terrified man screaming, and as he runs, a chair moves out on his own with no one under the table, and no jump cuts or other editing tricks that I can make out. This footage comes from India, where a woman is seen cleaning up at a sink. Suddenly, a dark figure appears behind her and gives her a hard shove from behind. She turns around only to find the room empty and hurries away. There is a powerful figure on this roof and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Tati Catalina, this scary video shows a large dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. <laughs> All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. This video is taken one summer on Vancouver Island in Canada. A YouTuber named Mushmasta is on a hike when he sees a huge humanoid creature that he still can't explain to this day over 10 years later. According to Mushmasta, the creature was seven feet tall and stood on its hind legs to stare at him, but by the time he started recording, it was already hunched over and taking off. <laughs> Quick, stay. Stay back. 
At first, I thought it was a bear, but look closer and you can almost make out the upper body of a human, especially the shoulders. It looks far more human than a bear, judging from the way it walks away. In the end, the creature chooses to leave Mushmasta alone in the woods, wondering what he had just encountered. Let me know what you think it was based on the brief video that I have shown you. No one has been able to solve this in over a decade. A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while, it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera. But then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time, like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's falling at the mouth. Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression. So we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. Every culture has its own folklore, but the banana tree ghost of Asia is particularly creepy. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. We've seen banana tree ghosts in the past, but this one is extra spooky. Alien Angel writes, Ghost girl crying in a banana tree patch. It is unbelievable what happens towards the end. Traditionally, the ghost hides out in wild banana trees and is with a green complexion, full black hair, and bright red lips. She remains incognito there until full moon drives her out of the darkness, which is when she is made visible at night. Often she is seen standing without touching the ground. Her lower half is represented as not solid, but wispy, like an extension from the trunk of the tree itself. Apart from the tree's fruits being inedible, many don't grow this type of banana tree in their compounds or homes because of their haunted nature. This is also why if you cut a banana tree from the clump in Thailand, it's seen as a bad omen, while the witch is believed to be for the most part a good witch even going so far as to offer food to Buddhist monks who pass her by. With this bit of background, take a look at this video. The Wailing Witch is clearly visible in this banana tree, her long black hair and light green shirt seen amongst the giant banana leaves. What isn't clear is why she's crying like this, or is that crying coming from the person viewing the witch? Is it a cry of fear? <laughs> The viewer doesn't have to be afraid for long, as the witch soon vanishes, flashing up out of the tree and out of sight. While some in the comments say this is surely a witch, others aren't so sure. Redditor Pete318 shares his own personal view writing, There are some areas where spirit people congregate, and you can tell these areas by several things you feel when near them. Whether you believe in the haunting of nature or not, this video is proof that there are some things out there that will forever remain a mystery. A while back, I analyzed a video of a weird spider with a strange growth under its abdomen. Well, I did some more research and found this video, which finally explains what it was, an egg sack. First, they come out one by one, and within less than two minutes, hundreds have burst out. Their mother patiently stands guard until they are all free and then leaps away, leaving behind her brood in the hopes that they will scatter to every room in the household and successfully grow to full size. Though there are plenty of strange noises caught on tape, this one is as scary as it is mysterious. Published by Jimmy Dillard in June of 2013, Dillard left his camera in the forest to capture deer. Instead, he captured some strange screaming, grunting, and rocks being thrown at his camera. 
While Dillard thought it might just be children playing around or a homeless man disturbing the forest, we'll never know the truth because the source of the sound and disturbance never appeared on camera. In watching the video, you can hear a bellow echo throughout the wilderness, almost Tarzan-like in nature. Later in the video, you hear tree branches breaking. Then one of the most chilling noises is that of a growl or a bark. The thing sounds human but not quite. You can hear whatever it is clamber through the leaves and branches. The whole video is quite unsettling, almost more upsetting, because you can't see the source of the sound. Although from the sounds of it, the creature must be very near. You expect it to jump out at you at any moment. I've been hiking and camping since I was little, and I've heard just about every animal in Georgia, but I've never heard anything like this," Dillard wrote. One thing to keep in mind is that elk and moose don't inhabit this region, but could it be some other animal? Which leaves us to wonder, what in the world is residing in this forest? Here's another video from the mysterious Menger Hotel. A woman is bored and giving a brief tour of her room when suddenly a paranormal presence makes itself known. Hello? Mike? She waits for a tense moment, hoping that her boyfriend Mike is playing a prank nearby. When nobody answers her, she bravely opens the door and looks into the other room. Here's what she finds. What? Nuh uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Something has dumped all of her possessions onto the floor in a quick fit of rage. While it's possible that she could have done this herself, it's also quite possible that this really was a paranormal encounter, especially when you consider that fires, missing things, and other strange happenings have become the norm over the years at this hotel, which was also built over the famous Alamo battle site. Being a pilot can seem like a glamorous job, but sometimes it's downright terrifying. YouTuber Don MCL1 published this video in October of 2006. The clip shows a jet taking off from a runway, but soon sirens start sounding off while the aircraft's nose points skyward. T6NL. Lots of talk back and forth over the radio is indecipherable. The nose then pans sideways, clearly indicating the aircraft is out of control. Over the radio, you can hear someone mention engine failure. Right before someone says eject, 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 as the nose of the plane turns downward. Shortly after, the plane nosedives and the footage scrambles. While the description of this video doesn't reveal much about the incident, Kiwi Jet Pilot in the comments section appears to be quite knowledgeable about what happened here. First off, he clears up the description of the plane, saying it's not an F-16 but a Canadian-flown British-built BAE Hawk. He states that this occurred in May of 2004 in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, during a UK Royal Air Force crew training mission, but this video shows they survived by the skin of their teeth. A little too close for comfort, a store security cam in Malaysia has caught a ghost on tape, a strange figure that can teleport at will, and it's got the owners freaking out. I would be freaking out too. 55 seconds is when you can see there's nobody in these clothes. No chest, no head, no hands. Just clothes forming the outline of a person who isn't there. Then at 1 minute and 30 seconds, it sprouts a freaky gray featureless face. <laughs> Dá pra usar na bola. 
And did you see that even scarier, more mysterious figure behind her? One minute and 26 seconds is when a much taller shadow figure with a red face appears behind her and then mysteriously goes away. This could be a possession, a ghost, or a demon sighting, or even a hostile takeover from another planet, but it could also simply be video editing. Oh, and of course, this creepy encounter happened at 3.14 in the morning, just 14 minutes shy of 3 a.m., a time when the supernatural world is said to fully open with our own. Salem, Massachusetts is considered to be one of the most haunted places in all of the United States due to its lengthy history of hunting witches and the foul spirits they bring. This ghost sighting was posted on Twitter by none other than the mayor of Salem. Eerie is how she describes it. A ghostly face with a furrowed brow and chiseled nose stares back at the mayor with a stern frown. I don't know if this lamp post is of historical significance, but it definitely seems to have become imbued with a spirit of some sort over the years. I doubt the mayor was doing this for attention, since she is already a high-ranking public official and gets enough of that already. If anything, the fact that she is willing to put her political career on the line by claiming that spirits are real shows how much she believes in what she saw. There's someone down there! Really shaking right now. I am on my own right now. Hello? A YouTuber named Andrew Duffy has a paranormal problem in his basement that literally leaves him shaking with fear. Is there someone in here? Make your presence known. Do something now. <gasps> He shakes throughout the entire 10 minutes and 43 seconds of this video without a break, which would take some talent to fake. Here's a good example. Two friends are taking a swim in the clear blue seas. One of them does the backstroke and incidentally saves them both from disaster. <laughs> hey, watch that shark. Oh, oh, get in the boat, get in the boat. Oh. Look, he's right there, he's right there. What the oh, f is that? Shit, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. Get the shark right there. No, I'm not kidding. And it wasn't just passing by either. The shark doubles back for a second look, no doubt tracking their scent to the exact area where they just were. Look at him. He's coming right here. Peel your eyes back for this one. Published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022, this scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure but it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. Lurie Glow has a haunted home that keeps him on edge at all times. He records down the hallway because a ghost is down there. He's sure of it. I'm not sure what he is saying and need your help to fully understand. <laughs> Hold on, 
he hears a loud noise from behind. As the ghost walks past and touches a light, the living room is where he experiences the most paranormal activity. So there's already a second camera all set up. Here is the same scary moment from a different angle. As you can see, he hears a bang, turns around, and that's when this stuffed animal gets possessed. Is someone pulling strings off camera, or are these objects moving on their own? This video is said to have taken place in Indianapolis and was dash cam footage from a woman's car. Apparently, five masked individuals surrounded the vehicle and took whatever they wanted from the car with the driver still inside. The creepiest part of this video that has been freaking people out since it was uploaded is the driver's panicked screams that are caught on the dash cam during the ordeal. Where don't you get them? He walks nefariously by the front of the vehicle. Even scarier, this whole event happened in broad daylight in a parking lot. It's enough to make me think twice next time I'm out and about. YouTuber Lance Stewart has always had his critics when it comes to his paranormal videos, but in this video, Lance doesn't claim he got possessed, but rather someone else who is just participating. They are doing a Ouija board challenge and actually managed to capture some interesting paranormal moments, most notably at the 8 minute and 42 second mark when the camera picks up an unknown voice saying, Turn it off. Is it I love you? Yes! Is the ghost implying that it does not want to be filmed? Maybe this is a warning they should have heeded, because later in the day, well after they are done with the Ouija board, Lance finds his ex-girlfriend Lizzie acting very strangely. She's lying on the bed with her eyes rolled back, not saying a word. Lance sounds extremely concerned when she says it's just a prank. Do you think she was telling the truth, or did whatever possessed her just want to give Lance a false sense of security? Either way, this video should serve as an example of how you need to exercise massive caution when using a Ouija board. An instructor records himself and his students for a teacher evaluation. He's giving a lecture about safety when some strange activities start to happen. Out about what dangers might be. Stephen, don't do that, please. It's distracting. That's one thing, someone give me another one then. Strangers. Strangers. Right, what we're going to do, we uh, we need to... Uh, I, t I tell you what guys, um, let's, let's just go out for a minute. Um... By now the class is in mild shock as they awkwardly line up and leave. According to the description of this video, later on they would say that they felt a strange static electricity in the air and a tingling sensation in their faces. After they leave, the possible haunting seems to continue for quite some time. Finally, the camera is knocked to the ground by an unseen force and the video ends. Adam Grayson is making a YouTube video at the hospital after a reaction causes his entire hand to swell. His wedding ring presses into flesh of his finger hard enough to cut off the circulation. Now a surgeon has to cut through the thin band of metal with only a trained eye and a tiny circular saw. One slip will make the situation ten times worse. Ah, that's hot. The friction from the saw creates such an intense heat that nurses must repeatedly squirt water on the ring to cool it off. They really do have to delicately cleave through every last millimeter of the ring to get it off. Here you can just see how close they have to get to Adam's finger before they are able to pry it off. Adam's finger is red and tender. When they are finally finished with the procedure, there is no doubt that in my mind that he would have eventually lost an index figure had he not gotten to the hospital in time. No, this is not about a grizzly bear wadding into a river. This is about a human named Bear taking his show Man vs. Wild to the extreme and venturing out into Alligator River which is full of, you guessed it, alligators. If you're familiar with Man vs. Wild, you know that Bear Grylls' thing is to take a dive into situations where he might not come out alive on the other side. Instead of cracking under pressure, he uses his survival experience and his sense of humor to walk viewers through the experience with him. Often 
in with some educational bits thrown in here and there. Although the show's premise is founded on situations like this, this scary moment when Bear enters an alligator-ridden river is probably one of the most grating and fearsome ever on television. As Bear wades in, he nonchalantly tells viewers that alligators likely see humans as turtles or other prey, and they'll take you down like it's nothing. He would be a snap twig if the huge reptile was to get him, which it could at any moment. Bear looks frightened as he dives in, knife in hand. Viewers watch, holding their breath as Bear crosses the murky waters, but thankfully he makes it across without incident. Breathe freely. Sometimes fear is all in the build-up. If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Christina7658, the Redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor after a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy who apparently wasn't really there. The bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist-like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typeractive Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all-too-common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame. As as one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? This video, supposedly leaked by a former NASA employee while orbiting the Earth from space, apparently shows the fabled Black Knight satellite in action. According to theorists, the Black Knight satellite is actually thousands of years old and made by extraterrestrials, not humans. Many people believe that NASA is going to great lengths to cover up the existence of this foreign object, as well as whoever created it. The video itself looks pretty old, possibly from the 60s or 70s. The quality is grainy due to either aging or CGI effects. Based on what you've seen here, tell me if you think this is a real cover-up or just video editing. On May 15th, 2018, a creepy individual gets caught on camera by a YouTuber named Ash Vlogs, and she's worried this strange encounter could be with a lurker. You tell me. She wakes up only to find a car she doesn't recognize parked across from her apartment and feels like a creepy lurker is watching her through her slightly opened blinds. I don't want to go back to sleep because there's just this guy sitting here looking in like what he's Or maybe it's nothing. It's 5 a.m. and when you're half asleep, it's hard to even hold the camera, let alone analyze the situation. Ash thinks it's a strange sighting for sure, but she doesn't confront her lurker just in case she's wrong. She doesn't get the license plate of her potential lurker on tape either, but at least she has a general car description and his creepy behavior is caught on camera. Finally. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, look at the time, guys. Five in the morning. The strange encounter stays on her mind all day, and so she puts it on YouTube for further analysis. It's the only scary thing she's caught on video so far, but it's not the last. She makes normal vlogs for a full year, until the creepy lurker returns, this time with others too, a whole group of them. So her friend Jordan is shopping, and this person dressed in all black is looking for him. The man dressed in black rounds the aisle and appears to talk to Jordan, probably saying his name out loud to make sure it's him. The network of lurkers are highly advanced, well prepared and ready to confront Jordan, who doesn't know what to expect as a group overpowers him. He is then taken. 
I can't imagine what happens next. I have a feeling this is an art project, but if it is real, then I feel really bad for Jordan. A group of friends are roaming around an old English house that's rumored to be quite haunted. Unlike most of the other videos on this list, they are able to get upstairs and quickly start opening every door they can find. Then they come across one door in particular that they swear they've already opened before. I studied this video for a while, and I can say that this door was definitely open before. When they open the door here at 11 minutes 27 seconds, you can see a circuit box with a yellow sticker in the bottom corner of the room. You can briefly see the same circuit box here at 8 minutes 14 seconds. This means that the door was definitely open just 3 minutes earlier. They aren't sure what to make of this discovery and decide to run away. Maybe they were faking surprise. Or maybe one of the friends closed the door as a prank, but something tells me that this was probably paranormal. Let me know if you agree. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200-year-old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Okay. Do you see the old rocking horse in there? No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that too. There's a whistle. So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. No, but I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? Oh, right there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's going to be a flash of light. So it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso. And there's that flash of light. And then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here. Don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life, as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity, even still though, seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. This home surveillance footage has been circulating around the internet, but I'm trying to figure out if it's fake or did this woman have her home surveillance hacked? After all, there have been many cases of that happening over the last couple years. If that's the case, it's super scary to think this woman is being watched by an unknown person without her knowledge. And without any context, you would never know that scenario is a real possibility. What do you think? Is this real or fake? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.